right, hello my friends, these are the world's dumbest criminals. Okay, we are in Russia, gonna rob a bed store. Whee! Oh, that was, that was slick, the way he just slid in there. James Bond, oh, not quite as slick as I thought they'd be. Okay, my friends, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be deciding, are they dumb, are these people morons, or actually, are they misunderstood uh, genii? The pool of genius. Anyway, so we're in an art store. Has been caught on CCTV. And we're on the news, so we, we definitely got caught. You're attempting to steal a piece of art from the wall of a Birmingham gallery. What? You're telling me there's crime in Birmingham? Here he goes. He's checked to see if anybody's watching. Nobody is. But he was stopped by staff as he tried to leave. You do it a bit quicker. No, right? That was quite a leisurely pace for someone with a big piece of art on their arm. Okay, so we've got a gym shop hoodie on. Shut up. You've done one line over it. Why would you immediately take it off? Why couldn't you have just kept it on for 20 more seconds? Okay, so we're smashing the door. Not very... Double glazing is holding up well. Be a few cuts and bruises, lads, no? Oh, how are you not severed in half? What on earth? Oh, bare legs! Ah! Oh! Oh, I was hoping. It was open the entire time. Shut up. Shut up. And you've got to go to hospital. Surely. What on earth are you stealing? That's worth pinging yourself through a double glazed glass door. This person looks quite smart. They've got a mask over the face. Oh, they're... Ha! <laughs> because he just got scared of himself in the mirror. Do you want to Do you want to join the reaction video? Nick and the phones. But aren't they all the ones that are on tethers? Remember when you used to go on a phone shop and be on a tether? Yeah. You don't care, do you? <laughs> okay, well, and they've run out into the glass. Oh, <laughs> classic. I've seen too many of these. Wow. All right, thank you for your great input. Okay, so we've got out our Fiat 500 Big Edition. Oh no, we're getting into somebody else's Fiat 500 Big Edition. Nice, nice, we're in, we're in, we're in. Uh, uh, what, how does this go wrong? This looks like they've got it all in the palm of the hand. He's getting in the back seat. He's so casual, he's not even riding shotgun. He's been bumped. Who's bumped him? Who's bumped him? Oh wait, is that their mate pushing? What was dumb about that? They successfully stole a car! That didn't seem dumb at all! Okay, so we've got Kabam Brooks for stealing a whole car. <laughs> yeah, you're an idiot. But I respect it. I respect you trying to steal the entire kebab. Three thieves rolling across the floor of a Mr. Gaddy's restaurant at- Why are they rolling around? Wada says the trio stayed for about 10 minutes, and while they didn't get away with any cash, they did not leave- Oh, fair play! They stole a drill, a speaker, and a, a flashlight that they didn't have when they came in. How the hell did they get into the safe? That's smart! They're good thieves! Juarez isn't worried about them coming back. They'll be too embarrassed to, to, to come out again. Yeah, good one. If you didn't trip with your words there, Juarez, that would have gone well. Like, the rolling part I don't get, but they, they successfully... I just tripped over my words. They successfully robbed a restaurant, right? It's... They're good criminals, they just, the restaurant didn't have much for them to rob. Okay, so we're robbing vendor machines, I, I'm, I assume. Uh, but I can't see anybody. Is the robber a cat? Oh, oh no, it's a big man. Oh, it's a arrested man. It, oh wait, no, that's, that's his disguise. That's how he's hiding his identity, okay. <gasps> oh, I don't know if I can show that. He's just been squished. Um, oh no. Is he fine? He's fine. Oh, the yellow. Money icon approaches. No, my friends, we're fine. Look, no serious injury. Idiot though. Yeah, big moron. Ooh, we've got a lovely, is that a little lovely old Porsche? Turbo, turbo. Brooks cutting in through the roof. I just thought that was his car. Okay, so we're cutting through the soft top. I hate soft top cars. Like, I, I just think they make it look so much worse. When are you realistically ever driving it like convertible? Oh, nice. It's like, Nice, set the alarm off, that's fine, he's in it. But how are you going to drive away? You don't have the keys. Person's just walked past, doesn't give... This has got to be London. Oh, okay, we are so casual about what's going on right now. Somebody's come out to put a wet floor sign down and just not taking into account that there's a car there with its alarm going off and a man climbing through its cut open roof. How nonchalant are we in this country? Down the escalator. They're not really a criminal, are they? Oh, they are a criminal. Lads, are we really calling the criminal dumb here? The police, right, came up to them, went, oh, hang on, they've accidentally gone to up the wrong one, saw the right one right next to it, and went, nah, I'll just follow them up the wrong one. It's not, the thief's not the idiot here. Hello, 
Lad, for four vapes. Really? Did It did work, though, right? He did. He came for some vapes. He got some vapes. Do we see his face? Loud and clear. What flavour did he get, eh? Watermelon? Apple? Lime? Not sure. I still want to sell vapes, man. I want to make a f***ing vape company. I would cream it. Uh, okay, so we're smashing through the the jewellery. Like, probably... You could have done with a mask if you were going to be here for, like, five minutes, like. Probably leave at this point now. Probably leave. Yeah, go whack him with a stick. You, yeah, moron. Walking in. What's she trying to steal? She just walked out oh, awesome. She did not care at all. Oh, she was trying to nick all of that. Fair play. And she just thought, yeah, let me just take the big thing. She still stole something. That was my bad. That was my bad. What was your bad? Uh, I, was play I, was, I was playing the game and uh, I, I butt out the phone. Okay, so this was just an accident. You yeah, called 911. But did you say you killed two people or something like that? Okay, how old are you? 17. I hope he's actually murdered someone. So what happened is, I guess he's saying that he was playing a video game, and in the process of accidentally calling 911, he said that he killed two people, but he was talking about on the game. I feel like everyone's dumb in this situation. Yeah, we're just trying to we're we're just doing our due diligence here, trying to figure everything out and make sure that everybody's okay because we have to do that when we get a 911 call. There's definitely three bodies in his room. Okay. So we've got a house. We've got a house with two fronts. It's like they built the house and gone, ah, we'll make it look bigger by building the front of it three meters in front of the actual front of it. Anyway, uh, so what's he doing? He's opening a window. Oh. Ha! 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 Ah, oh, I see. So it's just like a burglar protection thing. Ah, try and break into our house. Look at you wasting all that time when it's just round the corner. Some audio would have been good here. I would like to have heard his reaction when he realizes, hang on. <laughs> Oh, you silly fool! Okay, shoplifter tries to steal this. Oh, I've seen this. So he runs away, doors are locked, throws a strop. Okay, so we are just stealing bikes. Uh, people are walking past and they also just don't care. To be fair, like I say that, I'm not doing anything in that situation. It's not my bike, is it, really? It's a lovely looking bike, mate. That looks kind of swanky. If you were going to nick anyone, that was probably the one to nick. Fair enough, right? He knew no one would act on him doing it, and now he's got himself a nice new bike. Okay, so we're in the shop. A tiny... Is that the thief? Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, just let him have it, man. That was... No, that's the smartest one yet. It looked about nine months old. Tiny little baby stole, stole some things. Knew exactly where he needed to go. Knew what he wanted. Fair play. This is the shocking moment. A shameless paramedic, <gasps> Mark Titley. No, Mr. Titley. Was caught pocketing 60 uh, pounds from... Him. So I hope somebody Titley tattled. When Titley realizes that he was being recorded, he proceeds to put the money back. He told police that he intended to secure the cash and take it out to family members. Yeah, he's an idiot, because he got caught. Okay, run down the road. Ghost ride. Oh no! Oh, he's trying to pinch cars like GTA. He runs a bit like Nico does. The guy's trying to steal a car and get caught inside it. Wait, the bloke's trying to steal his car and got stuck in it. He's still trying to go through stuff. Oh, that's going to be so embarrassing. Yeah, he's a moron. Are you kidding me right now? You know, oh, I'm Open your bag. I'm opening it. If you'll get off yeah, of me, please. This is all ours. Karen Morfair? I don't really want to root for anyone here, but what's in her bag? Steal. Ah. Get out. Go. She's been get pinching. Out. Yeah, pretty dumb. Like, she was just stealing a big wooden candle holder. Like, was it worth risking it for? It's not like you need something. It's not like, you know, you're stealing eats. She's just stealing for decorations. So, we are at a Christmas looking market, I reckon. Why they just took a picture of him? Is he stealing phones? I don't get it. Why is he dumb? Is he dumb? Oh, he's still in the ground. They got him. They got him. Oh, they got him. They really got him. So, actually, somebody saw Mia's phone, uh, like, two weeks ago, and I tracked it down on finding my iPhone, and I was, like, looking through the bins of where it was, and a dodgy-looking man came out, and I was like, oh, did you steal a phone? And he just stared at us, and it was dark, and someone else was coming towards us, so I, um, I ran away. <laughs> okay, moving on. Tell me you're from Philly without telling me you're from Philly. I'm from Philly. Oh, he's got something in his pants. Really saggy. Oh, she's giving him sass. Look at the hands on the hips. What did he pinch? Oh, he's, it just looks like he's got a raging rod on. Enjoy life. Enjoy. I Man says she goes, rip open the watermelon and yam it off the table. 
Mm. Fair enough, because you're not going to go. They're not going to go to the police over that, right? She just got a free bite of watermelon. Okay, so we are putting a telly into our car. It's not going to fit. <laughs> you probably should have thought of that. Okay, we are running out the store. Running out the store with some beers. See, what's he still? That looks heavy as. Sh Fair play. Get in there. Nice. We stole them. Oh. Oh, okay. Unlucky. I just think if I work for a big company, like a big B and Q, and someone was running out, I'm not chasing them. I just say, I, you're not stealing from me. God, I know. What's that? Somebody in there. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, fella, you're dumb as Nearly got away with it. Okay, so we're trying on jewelry. We're gonna try and run out the door, and it's locked. Ooh, yeah, look at me trying it on. Ooh, gonna look over there. He knows what's happening. He's getting fidgety. Gonna run for the door. Ooh, run, run, run. And it's locked. What a shock. What a shock. I ran for the door. It was locked. Give it back. Give it back. And you can't leave. Why? I've called the police. Come in the door. Got handcuffs on your jaw. Put your don't, don't tense up, man. Don't, don't tense up, man. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, we've got sliders on and a bird light because we are not homophobic. Gonna try and steal it. They've locked the door. Oh no! Oh my god. I want to see this come off, please. They did it! They st They pulled it off! Oh, well, they, they didn't pull it away. Oh, man, that would have been sick. It just didn't look very secure at all. They just tied it to the bottom. That's a shame. I would I would love to have seen that work. All right, my friends, that was the world's dumbest criminals. I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.